Um, there's black mold, there are leaks, there are rodents. It's kind of deplorable. It's like a third world country. But it's not a third world country. It's the LSU Studio Arts Building. Since 2000, architects drew up plans to renovate the building three different times. And three different times, it failed. Because we were always going to have this renovation, no big repairs have been done since I've been here. And that's been for 14 years. LSU art professor Kelly Kelly is frustrated that her students have had to work in such poor conditions for so long. It's always, oh, we're not going to do any big repairs because we're about to have this renovation. The art building becomes a home away from home for students like Molly Gleason. You kind of just learn to live with these conditions because we are very happy that we have these the spaces to work in and we don't want to complain, but it gets to a point where things aren't safe. Some parts of the building don't even have proper AC or heating, forcing teachers to cancel class for the safety of their students. Unsafe at school whenever I pay just as much as any other student to go here. Senior art student Ellen Farrar decided to take action by creating a protest against LSU and the legislator. We're all basically sick and tired of it. So I thought it was necessary to create social media to help connect us together so we know who to talk to and know what's going on. Farrar generated the State School of Decay Facebook and Twitter profiles in order to connect members of the art school and gain the attention of Louisiana politicians. A BFA shouldn't be a death certificate, you know? I didn't come here to risk getting sick. I came here for an education that LSU, the education that LSU promised to me. I came here for the quality that LSU promised. They're letting me down. For Tiger TV, I'm Marina Jelpe.